Welcome back to Welsh Miniature Wargamer and today we're going to have a look at the conversion possibilities for the Wargames Atlantic Lizardmen. So, as you can see, this is the first one I have done and it's a bit of a basic conversion. It's an all bog standard uh, Lizardman apart from the exception of I've added a seven head, which of course, you know, is really cool. Um, make it look like he's swinging this thing around. Now, there's also meant to be an arrow sticking out of his leg. That's what this arm is kind of meant to be grasping. But the arrow kept snapping off and it, it was really annoying me. So, in the end, I decided he was better off without the arrow in his leg. But, yeah, as you can see, a simple conversion. But it works really well and, it you know, it, it shows you what I wanted to show you. The next one is uh, a very basic again conversion. It's the spear part of a, I think it was a Game Workshop skeleton or something maybe, an old one. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's a simple conversion, you know, just sticking something in his hands. Uh, as this goes on, you'll see the slightly more crazy conversions that I did. The, but the first few here are sort of very basic, very easy for you to um, see, you know, just chuck bits on and make it happen. So this one is a again a bog standard lizard man, but I've put one of the Frostgrave soldiers' swords in his arms hands. Now, as you can see at the bottom, you should have had really the pommel coming out of the bottom of the sword, uh, which I did glue onto the bottom of the sword, but I kept again snapping it off and it kept really annoying me. So I decided I'll leave it as is for now. Uh, if I ever want to put like a uh, pin or something in the bottom just to show, you know, that he's got a pommel. But to be honest, from a fair distance, you're not going to see that. Uh, I'm not too worried about it. So next we have uh, the first of our slingers. Now, these are the sling arms from the uh, the goblins, uh, Oathmark um, slave goblins, I think they were called. Uh, now, they had sleeves, as you might be able to kind of notice at this bigger zoom. You can see there is a bit of a weird thing, but I just used my knife and I just sort of cut the sleeves off. And it blended in pretty well, actually. Like on this arm, you can hardly see the connection point where I chopped and chopped and chopped with my knife. I didn't use any green stuff or anything. And, you know, I sort of just sculpted it with my knife to get it to fit the um, the existing lizard man. And yeah, it, it doesn't look bad. I'm not saying it's perfect. You could have done better, you know, with a bit of green stuff, but I wasn't gonna bother with green stuff. So this one has, again, the arms of the uh, goblin slaves. And again, I chopped down the sleeves because they have these sleeves that um, don't really fit in with them. But as you can see, you can't really see it if you give it a good old chop with a knife, uh, clear up, clear it up. And, you know, yeah, if you want to spend all day, you know, make sculpting it with your knife and, you know, the green stuff, you could and you'll make it look a lot better. But me, I just chop it with my knife and I'm done. So this one has got the normal arm of the lizard pointing and the other arm is, yeah, that one is the goblin arm. And again, the join is really kind of seamless and it's really ha uh, hard to see the difference. It's um, good if you're using arms, etc. swaps for these models to use more like uh, goblins, elves, you know, that sort of skinny armed thinner people, not such stocky people as the, the warrior, human warriors, etc. Because their arms are a bit more beefy and they don't really fit very well with how slender the lizard men are. So, yeah, that's that one done. Over to another conversion. So this one's got a shield and... I think the spear also is from uh, the just the general, uh, what's it called, warrior sprue or fighters or whatever they are from the Frostgrave set, I believe. Uh, 
put the spear at a bit of a wonky angle, but you can't really tell in reality. But yeah, as you can see, it goes off at a bit of a weird angle. And I really like the way this one turns out. You know, it's only a simple weapon swap, but it works really well. Uh, yeah, I, I think this conversion worked well. Uh, I wanted um, the lizard men to have a bit more variation in weapons, so sticking a proper spear on him seemed pretty good. I made it like a bronze spear, so it you know fits in with that sort of slightly more primitive uh, creature look that they've gone for, but it works. So these are a bit more of my wackier ones. So we got the arms from the Vermen from Mantic Games. Uh, from the space like rat people and the head is a games workshop uh, snotling or goblin uh, it's the runt herder and his uh, bunch so this is one of the spear heads I think it was and I think it works really well yes you know he's, he's still got his tail so he's not a goblin but he's not a, a lizard either so I think maybe you know he's a, a um, sort of half breed or something you know so he's half orc half lizard can't see why you would only have half orc half humans so you know that maybe this guy is you know a mix of the goblins and lizard this guy uh, again arms from the mantic vermin and the head from the same kit that runtered or one i think it was uh, so these are using up some of the options that you had left over from that. And I think he looks really good as a, you know, a, a slightly weird looking goblin, you know, running around the battlefield. Uh, and I love goblins. Goblins and dwarves are my factions. Now, yes, the back, I didn't put a tail on and I just sort of painted it as a loincloth, give it a bit of a chop. And yeah, I didn't do a great job. If you wanted to uh, do a better job, you know, you could green stuff a bit and, you know, have the cloth actually hanging down behind but i wasn't going to go into all that fast i didn't really have time in order to get this video up so these are kind of a compromise between what i want to get done and what i need to get done in order to show you the video so yeah he, he worked out well for that sort of compromise now this guy is so he's got the head of the plague faction from uh, Mantic's dead zone and the arms also from the same faction so it gives him a very sort of goofy sort of strange werewolf weird beast looking creature I kept the tail on him and I think it really sort of suits him actually uh, you might notice I didn't he's got a strap going down his back which I didn't bother painting because it blends in quite well when you're um when you're at normal distance from him uh, but yeah this is another rather wacky looking dude um, and I really kind of like him so all in all I think they have a a great deal of options when it comes to uh, kit bashing these figures uh, <laughs> they're kind of uh, you know because they're also already like animals they kind of work that you can stick any other animal onto it and it fits quite well so if you've liked this video please leave a like uh, maybe if you want to comment you can comment down below and I answer every comment that I um, I receive uh, and maybe if you really like these videos you'll want to subscribe and there's that little button down below but until next time it's going to be goodbye from me Welsh miniature board gamer